All right, so what do we know about the chemtrails? We know that they have mercury in them. It has nanodes in them. It has lithium in them. It has barium. You can smell the lithium. It smells like a huge battery from the collection I even have. It's in the sky, it smells like battery. And then uh, these different uh, smells will vary out between uh, being, being mostly aluminum based to uh, lithium. And I, I don't know what that smells like, but uh, I imagine it couldn't be much worse than, you know, <laughs> either one doesn't really make a difference in this case. But uh, yeah, so as I have been prophesizing and seeing in the movies as well as the uh, foreshadowing in the science fiction for the fiction, legal fictions in this fictional corporation. Basically you have these towers, these weaponized towers and then there are, I presume, that once these go off, all of the nanos, mercury and lithium, and all of this will be charged. The lithium will be charged in the air because the chemtrails are like literally blanketing everything now at this point. They're just all over the place. So eventually, it's going to be full of all of this chemical. And I'm wearing a mask right now because, as you know, the other day, it was like literally like eight stacks of chemtrails came through out the blue. It was fresh air, nice out here. But then a tornado of chemtrails came through, like just unbelievable. And then I went on to the global uh, chemtrail watch on Facebook on uh, using someone else's account, obviously. Um, man, it talks about what's in it, uh, how you can detox yourself. It's just all kinds of stuff on there. And, uh, you know, of course, I went and got a bunch of things that I needed, like, you know, getting a bunch of cilantro, got a bunch of organic cilantro, just tons of it. And then, uh, and then, uh, you know, I'll probably eat like one of those a day just to give me like a nice heavy detox. And then, you know, kids too and everybody. So, I mean, I just want to make sure that we got what we need. And then you got the Merlot, uh, wine you can mix that with peroxide and mouthwash and get some of that stuff out of your mouth and your teeth and stuff and try to help clear your sinuses up because a lot of people are experiencing stuffy noses and things like that because this stuff is just so thick you're breathing it in your your body's trying to fight it off and it's making all these boogers in your nose and your ears are filling up with earwax and your defense systems are going off so well uh, yeah that's what I presume would happen. This would be like an antenna. They're saying in those a lot of the, the global uh, uh, sky watch, they're saying that uh, the technology, and these are tons and tons of articles are within that that group. So uh, they're just whist they're blowing their whistle and like crazy on these chemtrails. Well, anywho, these towers here, the people that work on them now, can only do like 30 hour, 30 uh, minute shifts because the radiation is so high now and they're so powerful that uh, they burn the the, uh, the contractors and whoever works on them uh, that's burning their skin and it's leaving them with uh, rashes and all kinds of weird eff effects on their skin. So uh, these things are powerful. These things are like super mechanized and powerful and uh, they're saying the possibilities of them are super, like just really endless when it comes to like how they work in relation to the to the man and women and uh, the little nanodes once they get in there this is gonna act as an antenna and then you're gonna have a bunch of people with antennas that can't control themselves doing whatever this thing is telling them to do from what I'm understanding so it, it just reads out the whole entire prophecy of like you know the Stephen King cell and all that it just uh, it rearranges and then it's also gelatinous in a form so it's like fungi fungal which will probably adhere to the body more so you probably want to take a lot of grapefruit seed extract just to burn that up man because you're taking in a lot of fungi and uh, yeah there you have it the recipe for disaster stay awake